Many people think that if you want to grow a golden delicious apple tree, all you need to do is take a seed from a golden apple and plant it. But in reality, that's not true. And today we're going to show you exactly how you can propagate apple trees by grafting. In order to make a new tree, we have to go to this year's current season growth, and we're going to take a bud that's right down here at the base of this leaf, and we're going to put it into the rootstock. Normally, if we left that bud there, it would just grow into another branch. Instead, though, when we take it, we're going to take it and put it into a new tree. So let's start with cutting off the bud stick. First of all, we cut off the first year's current season growth. We'll then come back in here and snip off the leaves, leaving a little bit of the petiole or leaf stalk still on the bud stick. We trim it off up to about three quarters of the way. And then we'll cut it off because we don't want these larger buds, these older, newer buds, because they're uh, not as vegetatively good. And so there we have our bud stick. We'll trim off the bottom as well. And we have our bud stick we'll use now to transfer the buds into the rootstock. Now we have our bud stick. Let's see how we get the bud off of it. We we'll take our knife down below the bud and gradually draw it up above the bud, leaving a little sliver. We then come across the top and make a cut. Remove the bud, and there it is. Our bud is down in there between the petiole and the bark, and this is what we'll insert. Now we're going to learn why this is called tea budding, because we're going to take this bud that we cut previously from the bud stick, we're going to make a tea cut into the, the rootstock, and then we're going to insert the bud. So let's see how it's done. First of all, I make my vertical cut downward, then I come across and I finish the tea like that. I then come in, peel that bark back a little bit. This is what we call when they say when the bark peels back, we say the bark is slipping. We made our tea cut and we can see that the bark is slipping. That means it's able to be pulled back very easily. And what we'll do is we'll just insert our bud down into that. And there we have it. It's all set and ready to go. What we do then is we'll come back and we'll run off a bit of uh, plastic tape and we'll wrap this bud, make sure it, it stays in tight. And we'll wrap above and below the bud but not covering it. So we stick that in tight. We come back and loop it in against itself, and we're done. And that bud then will stay there, and next spring we'll come back and we'll cut off just above that, and that bud will then grow and we'll have a new tree. Here are some trees that we tea budded last year. This spring we cut them off, and then we forced that single bud to grow into a single stem. Next year, these trees will be ready for planting. These trees start out just like those ones we tea budded, but it does take patience. It'll be about three years before you get your first crop, and then about five to six years before you really get full crops. Tea budding can be used for a lot of different tree fruit crops. It can be used on peaches, pears, plums, and it can even be used for roses as well. A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-2111.